It's going to be great. Really? You're such a farm dog. Speaking of farms, <laughs> you know, we I don't know if we've ever brought this up before, but you know, we're city folk. So, we started our adventure farming. Yeah. Um dabbling in it, I in guess. Hayesville, in Hayesville, North in North Carolina. Carolina. I mean, Mo's lived in the country before. I've never really lived in the country. I've always lived in the city or the suburbs. But uh, this yeah. is our first true off-grid adventure. I mean, right. That's one. Then, I mean, I guess we were kind of off-grid in, in Italy. Um, but it was different. Yes, it was. We were learning a new lifestyle and learning a new country at the same time. At least here, we kind of have a little bit of knowledge about farming now. Yeah, I mean, we've had chickens we've had twice chickens. over. Yeah, we've had rabbits. We've, we've had, had rabbits. Ducks. For a short while, but we had rabbits. We've had ducks. Uh, we never bred it, bred them, but we're going to. We're going to, yeah. And have baby uh, rabbits, I'm so excited. Can't wait, actually, to yeah. have little baby rabbits. I know, so I can play with them. Yeah. Make them friendly with me. Yeah. Can you hold this for me, my love, on my side right here? Yeah. I'm going to screw it in from here and I'm going to screw it in up there. Okay. Actually, yeah, just hold oh, it. Oh, wait, my finger's stuck. Sorry. I'm my... You got it? Yeah, I had my hand in the sleeve because my hands were cold. stuff. Yep. Every day, a new project. Huh? One step closer, baby. One yeah, step closer. Every day, a new project. You guys know the saying, right? Happy chickens lay lots of eggs. Well, we're going to make sure our chickens are happy. Yeah. eggs in the nest like they don't really? want me, like they don't want me to take them which is a good sign because I I think that means they might grow brody right I'll, that would be a good thing yeah if they have like once we move them out here they want to start hatching eggs yeah now I'm gonna put one here Yeah, you go on the other side. I want it to be level with this. Okay. Like, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be a thousand percent, you know what I mean? Hmm. Just, just, just 999. Yeah. There you go. You know how picky I am. Scraps, whatever we have laying around. Works. You know, 
that that's part of that's part of living off the grid or our in our case trying to live off the grid and being self-reliant and self-sustainable is using what you have and making use of the things that you have I mean, use recycle repurpose as much as you can because you don't want to spend the money and go out and buy it unless you absolutely have to well we just saw uh the lows like a couple of days ago uh a two by four this leg shorter than this from here to here like uh I think yeah it was, it was like two, two feet long two feet long three feet long like almost three dollars three dollars the f in the and the um one the eight, the eight uh, footers 80, or the six it's footers? not even eight foot it's like 80 inches uh it's almost seven yeah it's like shorter it like, than eight foot yeah. was like uh almost seven dollars yeah almost yeah. seven dollars guys it was insane insane so make use of, make use with what we got especially with the prices of lumber these days you know you gotta we improvise a lot on yeah. this channel yeah well so it seems it wasn't intended to be that way but you know hey. you do what you, you do what you gotta do Don't pee on me, bunnies. No, they're not near you, baby love. <laughs> I love our roosters. <laughs> they're pretty. We have pretty roosters, I think. She's got a big bulge in front of her neck. Yeah, that's her fat. The others don't, don't have that. Because she's a different type of rabbit. If you look at the boy, he has, he has it too. He has it too. There's the rabbit. All right. It was to show you how much I know about rabbits. <laughs> a little bunny rabbit. I love him so much. See this liquors turn farmers. Golf grid life over 50. Yeah. Trying. Trying. We're trying. Trying. We can't afford it yet, the solar, but we will. Yeah, that's that's going to be our last step. But I'll be putting up some uh, exterior solar lights later. Um, yeah. I, we have two of them that were sent to us by a uh, subscriber. So, Which, uh, thank you so much. They're going to come in so yeah, handy. We'll, thank we'll you so much. We'll show that a little bit later on. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, a little bit at a time. Thank you very a, much. A little bit at a time. A solar yeah. light here, a solar light there. You Gifts know. are always greatly appreciated. Yeah, it helps make our journey that much easier. So. Yeah. And the and, kind and comments. And progression faster. Yeah. And the kind comments are really appreciated as well. Um, I don't know. Probably in swinging. Yeah, I think that would be best. And put the hinges here on this big yeah. boy. I think in swinging because then I the door will will push the the animals in when I walk in yeah, as opposed to, to them out. running to run out. Right. And try to sneak out. Right. Cuz some of them are pretty flighty. Yeah. And then It's very important to try and stay level with doing building anything because if you start off crooked your whole job turns out crooked yes so always prioritize on the foundation being and plumb and level as level as you can get it well, I gotta take this roof down I gotta take this down I gotta take the sheet metal off and, uh, so here you go this is inside the coop.
That'll be where the nesting boxes are. Somebody suggested putting a piece of sheet metal underneath the rabbit cages. So I was thinking, <clears throat> just at an angle, so oh, that the stuff doesn't hit the back. Yeah. It'll kind of like come toward this way. And keep it. So I was thinking of using some of this uh, tin, tin roof that oh. I'm going to be removing for we, it. We just gave a bunch to the lady. Tin roof? Yeah. Yeah, but it was broken up, wasn't it? No, oh, I don't remember. I just know there yeah. was some out there. No, I have a long piece over there. I could use that, but we'll see. Hear the birds? Yeah. I'll hold it. I have to be careful with this fractured ankle, you know. time I go and set up the circular saw and bring the extension cord I'm already done like 10 minutes ago so I rather just sometimes it's just easier just to use the hand saw and this this tool works really well I mean it's a good tool works great there you go What I'm trying to do is jack up the roof because it collapsed. So I'm going to put a block underneath here, all these, to try and give it some, so it, you know, it has more of the angle that it used to have before this entire post collapsed. It just kind of sunk into the ground and caused the entire roof to, you know, sink in. I wasn't planning on doing this now, but you know, you know me. It helped. It went up. Mm -hmm.
Be careful. I'm a chicken. You're a chicken? I'm a chicken. Yes, you are. I'm a chicken. <laughs> All right. It's going to be Let great. Me show everybody what we did so far. We got the hay in the way, but that's okay. You get the idea. We got the opening right where Pink is standing for the door, the door. future door. And then up there, I put the supports for the beam. It supports the beam, and at the same time, it's going to help me have a nailing base for the uh, fencing. Because that's what we're using up there. And because uh, that's what we have. And then uh, that's going to be the opening for them to get in and out. I'm going to have to, you know, fix all that. And, uh, and then they're going to have a run going out to the back. So they'll be outside whenever they want to. And then we'll put a door that will go up and down. Um, and that way we can close it at night and then they'll be sealed in. Mm -hmm. I have a question for our subscribers. I like to name the homes that we make for our animals. Um, the rabbits I'm going to call the Cottontail Condo for the girls. And for the boy it's going to be Bucky's Bachelor Box. But for the chickens... I'm torn between the sunny side up hen house, breakfast is served, or the cluck cluck cafe. So let me know which ones you guys think. Or if they have any other or ideas. Or if you have another suggestion, right, that I might love. I'd like you guys to leave it in the comments below. Appreciate it. Yeah. I got to take all this down. Yep. And uh, I think I should do that. I think I should do that soon. Yeah. Um, before I put the pallets there, because then it's, they're going to be in my way. way. So I'm going to go get the tall ladder so I can get up there and see if we can get all this down. I don't trust getting up on this roof, guys. You know, it, the metal is very, very rotted and thin. It's got holes everywhere. And uh, it's rusty and rotted. So I'm going to try and do this from the ladder because, <clears throat> especially now that I got this fracture ankle, I don't have safety glasses, but I'm going to put my readers, better than nothing, All right. It's all coming out in pieces. But yeah, pretty rotted. I can get to the wood with the saw and cut that off. I'm going to use, I'm going to leave a couple of inches of overhang so that I can hopefully eventually put another piece of metal so that the water won't get to the wood. But either way, I'm going to treat it. I'm going to uh, stain the wood with some kind of a stain later on.
came down from the roof right there. Huge pile. Later on I'm gonna trim all those limbs so that we don't have hopefully as much of an issue. I secured this. The battery died on me so you missed a little progress but um, it stiffened it up a lot and uh, I screwed it all in from the back side and I, I'm leaving that plywood there because if I take it off, it'll leave me a gap of about 10 inches on this side, 8 inches, something like that. And um, so I'm leaving it. Plus it helps to block uh, some of the wind and rain and so on. And it's treated plywood, so it'll last a long time. It's still in very good shape. And now I'm going to put pallets all along this edge here from this pole to this pole so I'm gonna go get the pallets and start building this wall now <laughs> 